I bought a few things. So this all was unexpected. Less than a couple of months ago, I had a massive art haul and I thought that would be the last one of the year. I was wrong. Hi, future me here. Just to let you know, there's going to be two giveaway in this video. So stay tuned to know more. This is going to be a very emotional art haul. So there are some things that I am super excited and happy that I've got. And there are a few things that I, well, one especially, then I may have regret by it. The first thing I want to share with you and then I will bring you with your head uh, over my table so you can see the item for uh, very close but I want to deal with the elephant in the room first this giant beast I needed to clear out the table so you could actually see it I bought this giant canvas it's actually three of them it was a uh, pack value and I bought it in the local art store. I actually buy bought something in Amazon, something in my local art store that is called The Works. It's a chain here in the UK of affordable, very affordable art supplies. And I bought a few items also in a charity shop. Now that the beast is out of the way, let's check the essential. Also, in my local shop, I bought this white acrylic gesso for £6 only. It's quite a good value, it's 500 milliliter. I bought this glossy varnish. Okay, it's completely covered, but it's from Rosa Studio. I do have some of their product and they're really good, so I trust the brand. And this is for acrylic. Next, I keep going with this store and also in this store, the last item that I bought is this set of 24 twin markers, which means that they have a double ended and those are the color you get. I actually already filmed a video with this marker and it's coming out I think tomorrow or after tomorrow. So you may want to subscribe and hit the notification bell not to miss that video. I still have one item that I bought in this store and that is soft pastel. I found this set of 12 and I have been using a lot of oil pastel in my sketchbook lately and I've been curious to understand better the difference between soft pastel and oil pastel. Those are the colors. There's going to be video for each and every product that you see today so don't miss them and yeah really really curious to try them but they are on the cheap side so let's see in one of the charity shop is actually a bookshop and i bought these two books to use as a reference because i said a few times i try to step away from my phone when i'm painting unless it's a picture that i took myself so these books has a lot of leaves and trees so every time i want to do uh, some leaves or trees uh, painting I can just be inspired by this book and have this book open in front of me this is all about birds and I think I already filmed and already came out a video on this one so there is plenty of birds to go on and I really don't need to look at my phone 
if I want to paint birds. So I'm super happy about this. I also have another botanical book that I recently uh, purchased, I think over the summer, the beginning of the summer, and I'm using also that as reference a lot. So this is a good investment. Now, this is my, my regret, <laughs> my only regret. Um, I went in a second charity shop and I already purchased this one. So I really didn't need another one because I don't do a lot of markers work, artwork. It's not my uh, first medium of choice. So I really didn't want to splurge too much. But you know, you're going in a charity shop and you see our supply and also here it says that it's a premium artist graphic market 12 vibrant colors smooth flow quick drying blah 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 and i thought it was like a professional set of market i paid 450 and uh, yeah i didn't want to do research on the spot and i i felt like from the presentation that this is really good like artist uh, great marker professional market and it was going to be better quality than this one the probably the value was incredibly high and I went home and I did some research and it's actually a brand of a supermarket I think Asta or Aldi it's you Aldi is a, a UK supermarket and uh, yeah so it's a supermarket brand it's not an artist brand it's nothing like that and uh, the product is now discontinued so there was no price but I did some researches online and the price is for under 10 pound everywhere so I will expect this to be the price of the market I will swatch for you pro uh, properly in the end because it's not the end of the world but you know another thing to buy our supply in a charity shop is that they don't do quality tests so you don't know if the markers are actually going to work or not those are the color and I was curious and I test them out already, but I'm going to test them with you again because I think I just did it in a rush and um, I came up with a bad feeling. So the only thing that we're going to swatch today uh, is this one. Next we have Amazon. You saw me doing a my own palette building my own palette uh, last week it was a very fun video i made everything diy with things around the house but then i found out a nice metal uh, tin and i thought that would be really good for travel if you want to see the video while well, i'm building it glue it together and add the color i like just um you know let me know in the comment yeah I also bought these three set of stands. Quick interruption from future me to tell you that the first giveaway is a 20 pound Amazon gift card. If you like to enter this giveaway, go and check in the description box all the requirements to enter. But there is a second giveaway coming later on in the video so that i already use because i'm super excited about uh not just for my craft uh, art but also because i plan to do like a full-on mixed media project and uh, i thought like having uh, these background stamps uh, and it is a butterfly stamp with uh, some sentence uh, would look super cool uh, like fading it uh, like hiding inside your canvas so I'm not big in mixed media but I'm always been curious about and I really would like to try and create a mixed media project I, 
I don't even know if I'm capable to do that, but uh, the idea is just excite me so much. Now we're getting emotional, but it's not the last item, but I'm super emotional about it because it's this Windsor and Newton professional acrylic set. And I love acrylic, but until now, I never invest in a professional set. So this is my very first professional paint. And uh, I decided to invest in it. It's not probably the best of the best. It's not the most expensive out there. It's still on a, a medium range, so it's still quite doable. But I decided to invest on a professional paint because I'm doing a lot of acrylic work and um, um, I think it's probably my favorite medium right now. Even if I didn't try all the mediums, so I'm still open to that and I'm still doing that, trying everything before to say what's my favorite or not. But definitely acrylic is in, it's my favorite. And I bought this set of 12 professional paint and I'm so emotional about it that I really want to cry every time I think of them and I see them because I feel like I'm growing. I think like it, this means that I'm growing as an artist, I'm growing as um, yeah, as a creative and uh, um, define my um, who I am as a, uh, yeah as an artist so those are beautiful metal tubes let's just make me cry to see them I'm like so happy um, anyway these are the color this is what it looks like I definitely will be using this quite a bit in my video and probably after using for a while I will do a review but um, I'm so happy like everything started with them they were the one I wanted and I got them I'm so so happy uh, by the way guys if you are quite expert with acrylic and try different good brand you like to suggest a really good brand of acrylic for me please let me know in the comment it may not happen today but i will definitely try them in the future and as I mentioned in the beginning, I'm big in oil pastel in my sketchbook right now. And I have Sennelier. I love Sennelier, guys. If you have the chance to buy Sennelier oil pastel, they are just um, the best. Uh, but they are still a bit expensive. I will in invest in on them in the future, but not right now. Faber Castell is a really good brand here in Europe or UK where I'm at um, so I decided to trust them and buy them because even if I love Sennelier I just have six color I think it's not enough for uh, what I want to create so I wanted to have a bigger choice of color and I know I'm using this I've been using oil pastel in my sketchbook uh, like crazy. So I know I'm using this. This is not just something that I buy to review and bye-bye. I know I'm using it. So I decided to invest on this set of 24 oil pastel. Uh, and the last item I bought is also from Faber Castell. And is 24 soft pastel. Um, yeah, more soft pastel. I actually ordered this Amazon all before to go in the local art store. So I knew I wanted to compare and get confident 
in about the difference between oil pastel and soft pastel i don't own any soft pastel so i was happy to buy this uh, but because i don't know if i like it or not i bought a smaller set i didn't realize it was a mini set i just realized when i opened it but then i went to the local art store found these bought these and i was like okay let's see the feeling does it really change to buy a very cheap one uh, with a medium level a good one soft pastel or you for the next time i can just you know keep buying a four pound soft pastel and i can call it today so i got curious and i decided to invest this other four pound and buy uh, two sets of soft pastel but definitely I'm curious to understand more the feeling, the difference in feeling in painting it. I've been watching some YouTube videos, so I think I get the difference between a soft pastel and oil pastel, but I'm curious about the feeling. And I think when you're painting, it's all about the feeling of you at while painting this is why everybody choose a different medium medium and is attracted by a different medium because it's the feeling that we get while painting with it so yeah i definitely will uh, be doing quite a few things with these babies and um, i'm so excited Oh my, I was closing the video and I completely forgot that I promised you to swatch this one. So let's try to go in order from the yellow. We have a double tip and they call Premium Artist Graphic Marker. And once you open the package, you see that they have been used. They are a bit dusty, but doesn't matter that one. It depends on the quality of the product. So this is working very well. A fresh yellow. Then we have this orange. The lid is a little bit loose on this one. This carmine color a bit scratchy to be honest guys do you want it i do have another set that i think it fulfill my needs for the moment this is a pale purple i will say it's more of a pink but so as you see the majority of the color works quite well so but it's an extra for me and i'm not doing enough artwork to justify having them i don't know why i bought them this is a deep violet. Focus. This is very juicy. This works super well and I like how it slides. So if you I'm based in UK, if you guys are based in UK and you would like to have uh, some more extra marker to work on your sketchbook um, you know just to playing around learn something this is I can forget the vivid green uh, just let me know in the comment uh, and I'll post this to you um, so yeah we are doing a surprise giveaway today. I wasn't expecting to do this, but I honestly don't need Viridian 54. 
I honestly don't need this extra uh, marker and I don't like to keep around the house things that I'm not going to use. But if you do like to have this set of markers, let me know in the comment. Now, this is Indian blue and I don't remember if this was the split one this is a little bit split but if you press it doesn't really come out nice cobalt blue lovely color this one number 71 No, this is perfect. So the previous one was the split one. So I was a bit too harsh in judging them. The colors are quite good. And you have some greens, some browns. Brown works very well. Just the black doesn't work unless now it's working. No, it's not working. On this side, it's not working. Let's see if this side, this side is not working. I know there is a way to revive your dry marker. If you like this one, enjoy, you want it, you are in UK, it's your. Thank you once again for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this all uh, and uh, I will see you in the next video, bye!